Today's video is brought to us by ButcherBox. More on them later. An outfit, a recipe, and a beautiful thought. Welcome to a new series on my channel, Three Connoisseur Secrets. Today I'm sharing one outfit, the recipe for a delicious meal, and the beautiful art of letter writing and haiku. I chose the name for my blog, The Daily Connoisseur, because I like to explore the fine art of living, and a connoisseur is an expert judge in matters of taste. Did you know that you are a connoisseur? Your taste might be vastly different than mine, but you love beauty and style, and you are an expert judge on your own signature style too. Today's outfit is casual and comfortably stylish. I'm inspired by nautical looks, especially in the summertime. I'm wearing the face striped cardigan by Sky. and these gauzy shorts by Michael Stars. My quilted flats are by John Joseph. Under my cardigan, I'm wearing this lace silk camisole by Lily Silk. I tuck the camisole into the high-waisted shorts. Jewelry is something I pay attention to every day, even if I'm not planning on leaving the house. I love looking at my wrists and seeing a great watch and a pretty bracelet, or catching a glimpse of my necklace and earrings in the mirror. Jewelry feels like a royal adornment, even if it's casual. All my jewelry today is by Miranda Fry. I'm wearing the crawler earrings, the Marlowe chain and gothic letter charm, and the Miranda Fry cuff bracelet with my Tag Heuer watch. The jewelry is clean and simple for this streamlined look. On my nails is the Illuminating Nail Concealer by London Town. This look is inspired by Coco Chanel, who made wearing Breton striped sailor shirts fashionable. This is her in 1928. All right, I'm ready to start my day of adventure. I'm making lunch and a special dessert today. On the menu is air fryer chicken tenders with tropical salsa and coconut rice. For dessert, we are having banana cream pie dessert cups. Let's start by making the coconut rice in the rice cooker. This is a very easy recipe that I make all the time. Place two cups of basmati, jasmine, or plain white rice in your rice cooker, along with two cups of water and one can of coconut cream. Add a pinch of salt and press the on button. It couldn't be easier. While the rice is cooking, I'm going to make my tropical salsa. This salsa can be customized to your tastes and mine changes each time, but it is the most delicious topping for protein, whether fish, chicken, steak, or even beans. I start by preparing the ingredients. Sometimes when I cook, I go into a sort of meditation as I focus on the calming cooking and preparation sounds. I cut up the entire papaya and place a portion of it in our bowl. I will save the rest for other dishes like breakfast tomorrow. Then I add some avocado, chopped red onion,
cubed mango, tomato, cilantro, the juice from one lime, salt and pepper. I remember I had some chopped hearts of palm from a salad I made yesterday, so that goes in too. I stir it all together and allow it to sit. The flavors in this are intense and sensational. Now to prepare the chicken. I have two dishes here for dredging. The first contains two eggs, scrambled. The second has panko breadcrumbs, paprika, and some seasoned salt. Here are my chicken tenders. These are from the butcher box. I'll tell you about their wonderful service after I make this recipe. I take my chicken tenders and first dip them in the egg wash and then in the breadcrumbs to coat. And I repeat this process for all the tenders. I have certain forks and utensils that are set aside for dealing with raw meat, which is what you are seeing here. Meanwhile, the air fryer is preheating to 400 degrees. When it is ready, I spray the inside of the air fryer with cooking spray and place the chicken in. I cook it for 10 minutes, flipping halfway through. Time to plate the dish. My secret for making rice look presentable on the plate is to put it in a ramekin. So I place the hot coconut rice in this and I turn it upside down on the plate. I top it with shredded coconut for added flavor and texture. Then I add the chicken and top it with a generous heaping of tropical salsa. This meal is so flavorful. The coconut rice and tropical salsa are perfect for the summertime. I often make variations on this dish and never get tired of it. I'm going to break away for a minute to tell you about ButcherBox, who have kindly brought us today's video. ButcherBox is a subscription service that delivers high quality meat to your home each month, and they have a special deal for the Daily Connoisseur audience, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. ButcherBox offer 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, and wild-caught seafood at unbeatable value. They offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box, which is what I got. This time, I received wild-caught Alaska salmon, burgers, ribeye steaks, chicken drumsticks, and chicken tenders, which I use in today's meal. Butcher Box ships your order frozen, from the peak of freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. Click my link below and sign up for ButcherBox today to get ribeyes for a year. ButcherBox is always running awesome deals, so if you miss out on this offer, click my link to check out what they're offering for new members next. Thank you to ButcherBox for bringing us today's video. And now to make the banana cream pie dessert cups. This is a very easy recipe to assemble and perfect for the summer months. I'm mixing a pudding together in the KitchenAid. This is a vanilla pudding mix from the grocery store. Meanwhile, I take this packet of graham crackers and crush it into large crumbs. I place the crushed crackers in a bowl and pour melted butter on top and mix it together.
time to assemble the dessert cups. I place the deconstructed graham cracker crust in the bottom of each cup. Then top with vanilla pudding. Then I place banana slices on top. And finally, I crush two vanilla wafers in the center. These can be served right away or chilled for later. This recipe makes six cups. I ran out of dessert cups and placed the other three in clear glasses. Use whatever containers you have on hand. This easy and refreshing dessert is a true delight. And now for our beautiful thought. An old friend of mine sent me a letter with Japanese calligraphy kanji and wrote me a haiku. It was so fun to receive in the mail. I'm returning the gesture now and coming up with a haiku of my own to send. I also need to send off two other letters. While I'm writing my letters, let's explore the haiku. Haiku is a type of short form poetry, originally from Japan. Traditional Japanese haiku consists of three phrases that contain the kariji, or cutting word, 17 on in a 575 pattern, and a kijo, or seasonal reference. I'm not as familiar with writing haiku so I looked up some of the best haikus ever written to see what makes them so special. Here are a few of my favorites. A Poppy Blooms by Katsushika Hokusai. I write, erase, rewrite, erase again, and then a poppy blooms. Over the Wintry by Natsume Soseki. Over the Wintry, Forest winds howl and rage, with no leaves to blow. The Old Pond by Matsuo Basho. An old silent pond. A frog jumps into the pond. Splash. Silence again. I finish my letters and write my haiku. I won't share it on here. That's for my friend. But perhaps I'll write one for you, too. I need to practice a bit more. Have you ever written a haiku? If you'd like to share it with us, leave it in the comments. And also, I promise you, I'm normally an expert at sealing wax, <laughs> but this one completely got away from me. Oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to ButcherBox for bringing it to us. Click my link below and sign up for ButcherBox today to get ribeyes for a year. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.